All right, let's talk matters youth in Africa. The Africa Youth Employment Clock, a first of its kind digital tool that projects youth employment trends in Africa, was unveiled today by the World Data Lab in partnership with the MasterCard Foundation. The clock, pre present rather, in 54 African states, has sub data sets for Kenya and Rwanda and monitors real-time job growth broken down using key variables such as employment status, age, gender and sector up to the year 2030. It is projected to be a useful tool for decision and policy makers. The Africa Youth Employment Clock is the first data model of its kind that is special in a number of ways. One is it has all the numbers, it has all the countries, and for Kenya it has all the counties, it has all the types of jobs, it has the ages, and has, um, has, you know, it always adds up. And the key second part is, it's now casted and forecasted. So it's not data, it's not an academic paper or a nice report from, say, the World Bank where I used to work that tells you what was happening last year. It, it tells you what will happen likely next year. With the launch of the African Youth Employment Clock, this tool is not merely a resource, but a beacon of hope, offering detailed labor, labor market insights that enhance our approach to tackling youth unemployment. In Africa, this issue is urgent, affecting not just our local communities, but resonating globally. It's an emergency that necessitates swift collective action. We want to increase the number of productive jobs that can significantly enhance the average household income, contribute to economic growth, providing dignified and fulfilling jobs for expanding the youth population that can lead to a resilient recovery uh, from economic challenges uh, such as the presented, uh, such as those that were presented by the COVID-19 pandemic. And finally, let's talk 